So to create a new project, you simply need to give it a name. This will be stored under the uh, Users My Documents uh, Racetrack Builder folder. So whatever you name it here, it'll be named there. If you do want to rename it at some stage, make sure you exit out of RTB before doing so. Otherwise you'll probably end up with a corrupt folder or something like that. Next thing you want to do, and I hopefully will get a whole lot more different theme packs here, um, to set up which materials and which cross sections you'll use by default. Eventually we'll be able to expand on this and um, bring in more X packs and um, after you've created the project so it won't be so limiting as it looks at the moment. Um, the next thing you, for this uh, demonstration I'm not going to use Google, I'll just stick with creating our own. So you set the, the width and uh, away you go. It's um, That's the, the bare minimum to sort of get going with. Um, turning on wireframe for a moment, as I, I'll do the, the same thing again, leave it as my rally, but I'll do the subdivisions here, um, and that just splits each of these triangles. Um, so if we do that, so yes, you'll see that there's quite a few more triangles in there now. And um, so the other thing we've got there is some noise. It's actually using a Perlin noise generator. And uh, when you crank that up to full, you'll get a greater variety. That's actually, if you look up the top here, it's got the, the height in meters is the, the middle number there. So you're down about, you know, there was a 600 there somewhere. Yeah, and that's fairly low, and then some of your highs there, up around um, 600 as well, 700. Um, so it gives you a bit of variety there. You don't have to have it as um, rampant as that, but um, each time you do it, you'll get a, a new landscape as it uses a new uh, seed to generate the landscape. Um, so that's those uh, couple of settings. Um, the other one you'd want to potentially work with is setting this to set a courser. Uh, factor 2 is, is planned but there's nothing there as of this point of time. Um, so that's effectively the same as selecting none. Um, a set of courser is obviously using the different terrain method there and with that you get a couple of other options um, to randomize the colors and to choose what size the texture is going to be when doing the texture editing that um, covers the whole terrain. Um, so if you want maximum uh, there you can set that, set it to randomize the colors. Um, we'll keep that mixed up, we'll have a bit of subdivision. And we'll wait a little bit because it does actually again use the Perlin generator uh, to create the noise of all the random colors. And um, I had to play with this and, and perhaps put a few more settings there for the random colors because it comes out a bit blotchy in my opinion um, and it really does depend on which colors you've got set here for your for your first four which is determined by the theme pack that you pick so different theme packs will have a different set of materials there um, that's it for now see you in the next tutorial